It seems contradictory that a fast food employee flipping burgers could find more satisfaction in his job than the world's finest chef. But in the menu, such is exactly the case. The theme of the film argues that striving for excellence diminishes the simple joys of life, and this theme is masterfully supported by the production design, cinematography, and sound. The word excellence is often associated with perfection. I picture strict teachers and students that hold themselves to rigid practicing schedules. They're organized, and they show a meticulous attention to detail. These qualities are clearly present in Chef Slowick and his cooks, as the production design of the menu shows us. The film uses rigid vertical and horizontal lines that cover the walls, doors, and floors of the dining room, and even show up in the trees outside it. Often, vertical and horizontal lines are used in film to signify being trapped, which the diners absolutely are. However, when I see these lines, I also get the sense from their rigid straightness that the dining room is not a place for flaws or compromises. Instead, it has a very organized feel, like everything is in its proper place. Perfectly straight grids are also usually created artificially and don't typically show up in nature much. This artificial feeling gives the sense that the people inside aren't quite as emotional as humans should be, and instead operate like robots, on precise schedules and with perfect memories, never leaving out any detail, always delivering with excellence. Symbolizing both their excellence and their lack of emotions supports the theme that striving for excellence and a lack of joy are connected, maybe in a cause-effect relationship. The costumes also contribute to the theme by creating a contrast between our protagonist and our villain. Chef Slowick wears a clean white jacket, pristine and free of blemish, almost like a lab coat. It makes us perceive him as organized, disciplined, and possibly devoid of strong emotions thanks to his lack of color. Margot's outfit, however, is dominated by subdued pinks and reds. Red is a rare color in this film, and since it's usually associated with strong feelings and passions, it makes sense that it would rarely be found in the robotic environment of the dining room. Margot is consistently shown to not appreciate the so-called excellence of Slowick's art, and her reaction to his cheeseburger shows that she instead finds joy in simple, common things that are often cheap. That red is a color hardly found anywhere in the dining room implies that this appreciation for simplicity is also not found anywhere in the chef or his cooks. These qualities in the hero and villain are a very strong support to the theme, because by making us associate joy and simplicity with the hero, they imply that it is a positive trait that can get you through insane situations. Meanwhile, striving for excellence is associated with the villain, which encourages you to see it in a negative light. On a related note, there are lots of props such as the sterile silver dishes in the kitchen and the tweezers that the cooks use to assemble plates that reinforce the ideas of cleanliness, organization, exactness, and perfection. They also make the kitchen feel more like a lab or even a hospital of some kind, places that are often considered to be unnaturally clean and robotic and devoid of humane comforts, or in other words, simple joys. The cinematography fits the theme of the film perfectly through its use of symmetry. Often when Chef Slowick is speaking to the dining room, he is centered in the screen, with the cooks lined up behind him on his left and right and a large triangular window in the background. The shot is perfectly symmetrical, which yet again implies perfection, organization, and excellence in Slowick and his cooks by giving you the satisfying feeling that nothing is out of place. However, there's another effect of the cinematography, namely the depth of field, that I feel even more clearly supports the theme. A sharp image seems to invoke more attention to detail and robotic perfection than a blurred one which might signify being blinded by emotion or being unable to perfectly perceive the environment around you. There's a heavy blur around Margot when she comes to the bleak realization that none of the diners are meant to make it out alive, which supports this idea of a blur signifying strong emotions. As Chef Slowick prepares Margot's burger, the product associated with cheapness and simplicity, the space around it is blurred, which implies its preparation is causing him to finally feel the emotions he's been devoid of. The burger also oozes a juice tinted slightly red, which signifies the subtle reintroduction of emotions and maybe past passions in Slowick's life. Soon after, we get a shot of Slowick that focuses in through an initial heavy blur over the entire screen. We've never seen such a heavy blur around the chef until now, and it tells us he's been thrown off his guard and isn't operating with his usual excellence and preciseness of detail. Instead, he's feeling an emotion, namely a tiny spark of the joy and the simplicity of life that he's been missing for so long. Sound is cleverly used in the menu to give the entire film a sense of overarching organization. The sound of the bell and Slowick's strange, distorted claps separate the film into six distinct parts, courses one through six. The echo of a clap is even used to mark the end of the film. The repetition of these sounds creates a clear pattern and thus a sense that all the events are organized into their respective parts, that it was all meticulously planned and laid out beforehand. This works just like the use of lines and the symmetrical imagery to imply Chef Slowick's striving for perfection and excellence. However, at one point in the film, Margot seems to disrupt this 
premeditated pattern, when she claps to get Sloak's attention before asking for her burger. Interrupting the pattern in this way again shows Margot's indifference toward excellence and perfection, and seems to imply that the joy and simplicity she represents works directly against those things and can't exist within them. Another facet of the sound is, of course, the dialogue of the film. As she insults Chef Sloak's food, Margot almost directly puts the theme into words, stating that he's taken all the joy out of eating by making each course some kind of intellectual exercise. She says that they've been cooking without love, or in other words, without emotion, without passion for their craft. The chef implies that he and his cooks strive for perfection when he states that perfection not existing is a fact they deplore. The chef, cooks, and diners often discuss the quality and excellence of their food and use long, complicated, and formal-sounding words to get their points across. This kind of formality implies that the speakers are highly educated, another thing associated with striving for excellence. However, Margot's dialogue is more casual and far less delicate than anyone else's, which further associates her with the trait of finding joy in simplicity. The Menu is a film that knows one simple yet sad truth, that joy is all too easily drowned in the competition and self-discipline that comes with striving for excellence. Through elements of the production design, cinematography, and sound, it encourages its viewers to better appreciate the simple things in life. After all, if we can't enjoy a simple cheeseburger every now and then, what hope do we have to enjoy caviar? <laughs>